Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am at the Alton Woods apartment complex in Concord, New Hampshire. A tragedy occurred in this area, April 2022. Steve and Wendy Reed, residents of this apartment here, were shot to death on a walking trail not far from this location here. They were shot. It shocked the community. Steve and Wendy were actually a interracial couple and they went out for a walk and they were found on a trail, a trail not far from here. Broken ground trails, Marsh Loop Trail. They were found shot to death. And it was a mystery who did this crime. I mean, the offered a $50,000 reward. The community was on edge. How could this happen in a relatively safe community? I mean, look, this is the apartment complex here. It's nice here, quiet. Police eventually arrested a 26-year-old drifter named Logan Clegg from Utah area. Managed to come all the way out here. A guy was had parole probation issues out there in Utah and made his way to the community of Concord and murdered these two innocent people. He's going through the judicial process now. I'm going to take you to the location where... Wendy and Steve were found. It's, it's a very sad case and I'm monitoring this case and I'm monitoring the judicial proceedings of um, Logan, the suspect, the 26 year old drifter. So I'm gonna show you the location here right now. I'm going to take you to the Marsh Loop Trail from these apartments here and we're gonna go check out. Take the next left toward Alton Woods Drive, then turn right onto Alton Woods Drive. Turn left onto Loudon Road. Alton Woods. Now you can reach the trail from the back of the apartment complex, but I'm taking- In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Old Loudon Road the roadway. Turn left onto Old Loudon Road. And it giving you an idea of what this community looks like. Outside their apartment complex, there is a mall over there. I see a J.C. Penney's. Applebee's and Chipotle and K Jewelers and Aspen Dental and there is a Walmart right down the street um, from here and it's all spaced out why would this individual come from all the way to Utah did he come specifically to target someone why would he target these two people walking on a trail. Why? A drifter from out of state. It's just, it's very, very sad. It's very, very sad that this would happen. And, and I'm praying for their families. The Reed's family, Wendy, Steve, both sides, both, both of their families. I mean, it's horrible and shocking. In a quarter mile, turn left toward Portsmouth Street. turning um, left. 
Take the next left toward Portsmouth Street, then turn left onto Portsmouth Street. Take the next left onto Portsmouth Street. A drifter. In half a mile, your destination will be on the right. From Utah, out way out here, in a remote area. Look at the trees. It's beautiful out here. And this couple just wanted to go for a walk. There's the apartment complex over there on to the left. Your destination is on the right. So this is the trails area. There's a trailhead right over there. This was the general area where they were found shot. Let me spin back around. Turn around here. right on the bridge what happened what happened I see the trail marsh loop well marsh loop marsh loop trail trail goes there down that trail probably connected up here on the trail up here apartment complex over there on the other side of this bridge on the right so so sad I'm covering this case I kind of good to come here to kind of get an understanding myself perspective on this um, unbelievable that a drifter from out of state would just come and do this to a couple in this community um, you know this country people flop around the country and they go into communities and they terrorize them and it's it's sad it's very very sad so we'll talk soon when this guy gets convicted we'll talk about it during his court, court cases we'll talk about it but I am um, in the area covering this tragedy. Stay tuned.